friends, welcome back to Thursday Morning Family Storytime. I'm Miss Jess. We're going to use this time to focus on our favorite songs and rhymes and uh, maybe you guys can supplement with some of your favorite books from home, find some new books online. I've got a couple of recommendations for you today. Now, how's everybody doing? Just another normal day, right? Yeah, we're all having a normal day. Hmm. Did you guys I spy some things last week, right? I asked you guys to do some I spy. So tell me about it. What did you spy? Wait, did you spy? Oh. Did you just say you spied a bird in the sky? That's a really cool one. Oh, you I spied a dragon in your book? That is super cool. Anybody else? What did you spy? Whoa. Okay, I spied, why well, I spied a whole bunch of things. I spied some. Oh, I spied some magic wands in the book I was reading, and I spied some leaves on the trees. I spied some new flowers outside in my yard. I was really excited about those. Wait, what do you spy? What do you spy? Wait, what? You, what do you spy right now? Did I just hear someone ask? I spy. You spy me in my pajamas? You guys, I forgot to get dressed this morning. Wait, no, I didn't forget. I wanted to do pajama story time. I miss pajama story time at the library so much. So I thought we'd do bedtime stories today. What do you think? I spy some polka dots. I spy lots of polka dots on my pajamas. Maybe if you guys are still in your jammies, you can get all snuggly with me. I've got a blanket. Get all cozy and we'll have a great story time, right? So, oh, that wasn't very loud. There we go. Shall we get started? That's our, our call for story time. So even if you're in jammies, I'm still going to make you stand up. Let's stand up. Let's stretch. We can tall. Ugh, get ourselves just like when you yawn and stretch and get out of bed in the morning, right? Make yourself stand tall. We need to get up to clap our hands and stomp our feet. And then we're going to do, what are we going to do? Shout hooray. All right, are you ready? If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. What do we do next? That's right, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. And what's next? Oh, that's right, we shout hooray! If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray! If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray! If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray! All right, you shout hooray one more time. Hooray! And stretch those arms out while you're doing it. Take those arms as big, make yourself as wide and fat and big as you can. And then stick those hands together right up over your head. You make yourself a nice little mountain. Make a mountain over your head. Stretch that body as long as tall as you can. Ooh, can you guys touch the ceiling this week? Did you get taller? I think you guys are getting bigger every single week. All right, well, let's take that mountain and slowly wave and wiggle that mountain right back. And you can get all cozy now with your blankets and ready for stories. So, I love doing pajama story time at the library because there are so many fun books about bedtime. There are books about um, silly times at bedtime. There are books about nice, quiet bedtime routines. There are books that when you read them, Oh, mm, they make you yawn. Oh, there are some books that are great to read at bedtime that have nothing to do with bedtime, but they're fun anyway. So I love pajama story time at the library and I wanted to bring that to you guys today. The first one I want to share with you is a classic bedtime book. Have you guys seen this book before? I think a lot of you are out there saying, yeah, we know that book. So this is Good Night Moon. Good Night Moon. It's an old classic by Margaret Wise Brown. This is a great one for story time, a great one for a bedtime, because it's a very calm book. It's very quiet. It's great for winding up the end of your day in a nice, peaceful way. 
I don't even think, um, I, I really didn't think a whole lot of this book until I ended up reading it to my kids and I read it over and over and over before I really understood just how charming this book really could be. Um, so grown-ups, um, if you've read this book a hundred times, maybe it's time to read it 101 times and revisit this nice little one. If you don't have this book at home, you can get it through Hoopla. So um, you can still access it even though we can't get into the library right now and if you don't have this one already. Uh, this is actually, we talked about I Spy, right? We just talked about that. This is a fun book. You can actually do a little bit of I Spy. Let's see, where's a good, this is one. This is a good page for it. So um, some pages are very simple. And instead of doing I Spy, you can just talk about and point to the things that you're looking at. There's the moon. Good night, moon. There it is. Maybe while you're at it, you could have a look out your window and see if you see the moon. But a page like this. This is great. Good night, light and red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. So you can always take a page like this and look at this whole picture and say, where is the red balloon? And where is that light? So you could do a little I spy even with a book like this. But you can always have a nice quiet bedtime. So if we want to do pajama story time, this is a highly recommended, excellent bedtime story. Now, another book that I love for bedtime is Good Night, not Good Night Moon, Good Night Gorilla. Good Night Gorilla is a book by Peggy Rathman. This actually takes us back again to what we talked about, um, we've talked about quite a bit lately, which are wordless books. Um, this one is a pretty wordless book. There are a few words here and there. Mostly I think they say, because guess what? There is a gorilla and he is up to some mischief. He is most definitely a mischief mischievous gorilla. Um, and what, what's part of what makes this story fun um, is that you can actually follow, um, you can attract the colors as you go through this book too. So it is wordless, but there is, we've talked about before, following the pictures and telling the story based on what you see, but there is a lot going on, a lot of things to notice. So you might flip through this book and say, ooh, I see something pink here, and I see something pink there, and then you'll see what happens. So keep an eye out for the colors while you go through that word list book. Um, it's another really great one if you've actually got the book, but uh, it is available as well on Hoopla. So if you have not, um, if you don't have the book at home available to you, you can check it out on Hoopla. It's actually available as an audiobook on Hoopla. Um, so yeah, so that one's kind of fun. It's a wordless book. You can go through with your colors and it is a very, very silly book. It is a little less calm than Good Night Moon because this little gorilla goes on a bit of an adventure, um, but it is a lot of fun and it does end up with some nice noisy snores and some sleeping at the end. So very highly recommended. Also available through Hoopla. Now, a couple of examples of books that are not quite so calm and peaceful. Um, who says you can have some fun before you close your eyes and go to sleep, right? So we can, uh, maybe your little one needs to get out some wiggles and giggles before bedtime. Well, Tumble Books is another great alternative for finding stories online. So if you pop on over to Tumble Books, you will find, um, if you actually do a search, you can type in a subject. You'll need to click the little button for search and find subject, put in bedtime, and you'll find some fun little stories there. Uh, one that is incredibly popular with a lot of our little story time fan, fans is um, is called Good Night Good Night Construction Site. And again, if you know that book, you know that's a really a really good one. Um, but uh, hugely popular, of course, um, especially for little fans of excavators and diggers and dump trucks. So Good Night Good Night Construction Site by uh, Sherry Dusty Rinker and um, Tom Lichtenheld. Um, they are the same authors who did this book here, Steam Train, Dream Train, which I did not find online, but you can see um, it's a very familiar style or very similar style um, where it's got kind of whimsical illustrations. It's a very silly story, but it also ends up with a nice calm, quiet bedtime. And for a little twist on bedtime, also over at Tumble Books, you can find Little Hoot. Now Little Hoot, okay, what is that? What do you see there? He's an owl. Yeah. Now, do owls go to bed at nighttime? No, owls are waking up at nighttime. They're what we call nocturnal. So they wake up at nighttime and they sleep during the day. Well, little Hoot, this little guy here, he just wants to go to bed. Oh, I just want to go to sleep, right? Well, mom and dad owls say, we're owls. We don't go to sleep at night. So where your kid might be saying, mama, just one more story, please. Can I stay up for five more minutes? 
Well, no, Little Hoot says, I just want to go to bed. And Mama says, one more story. You need to stay awake for five more minutes. So that is a really fun twist on bedtime. Um, again, ends up with a really cozy, happy resolution. So even though there's a lot of action in that book, um, it's actually also a really snuggly bedtime story. So Little Hoot by um, Amy Krause Rosenthal, um, available on Tumble Books. So you guys can head over and give that a look, okay? Oh my, excuse me, I'm so tired. Well, before I send you all off to bed, let's do some rhymes. Maybe we can wake ourselves up. It's time to roll our die. So let's do some rhymes. We're gonna do, ooh, it's a big one this week. I think we did this one a while ago. We'll do it again. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six dots on this die, which means we're gonna do our number six rhyme. Hey, we never took that guy down. Let's see what we've got for number six. Here we go, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see that big number six down here? Let's trace that number six. Get your finger, everybody get your finger out. We're gonna trace the number six in the sky. A big line down and a boop, bump around the bottom, right? Now, what do you see on number six? Do you see uh, it's a spider. Did you see that spider? Oh my, it's a spider. Now here we've got a letter S. What's that letter S? Letter S. S for spider. It's even S for six. So we have number six and a spider with the letter S. The itsy bitsy spider. I think you guys know that one. Let's get our little fingers out, stretch them out big and squish them up tight. Are you ready? We're going to make our little itsy bitsy spider and we're going to climb. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now you might remember last time we did this, in addition to our itsy bitsy spider, we found a teeny weeny spider. We'll call him the teeny tiny spider. So can you take just two fingers, not two hands, but just two fingers. We're gonna do the teeny tiny spider in a little squeaky voice. Can you guys do that? I wanna hear you say teeny tiny spider. Can you say that? Teeny tiny spider. All right, we're gonna climb him up too. The teeny tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny tiny spider went up the spout again. Teensy tiny. Now we had our itsy bitsy spider. And we had our teeny tiny spider. Should we have a great big spider? Can you take both your hands and make a great big hairy spider. Now he's a big spider, so we need a big deep voice. Can you do that? Take your hands and make a great big hairy spider. Do I hear you doing that? Excellent. So let's walk him right up that spout. The great big hairy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the great big hairy spider went up the spout again. All right, good job with that one guys. I love that song for the variations we can put in it. So it's not always the same old song that we know. Now let's take our big old bowls and it's time for pancakes. So we've got our bowl, we've got our spoon, are you ready? Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pour it in the pan. Fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. If you guys do story time a lot, you know I got a word wrong in there. Let's do it again, I'm gonna put the right word in there, but that's okay, it's kind of the fun thing about these rhymes is sometimes you can make it a little different and it's okay. But let's get those bowls, let's get those spoons and let's stir this up again, ready? Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in the pan. Fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. All right, 
that's pretty much it for our rhymes, almost. I have another challenge for you this week. So last week I wanted you to I spy, look around and see what did you see. Did you see some cool things? Yeah, we talked about that, right? Well, this week I want you to I spy in the sky. I want you to look up. I want you to look up and see what you can see. Normally when we do pajama story time, I like to end with wishing on a star. So, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. So maybe if you can stay up just a little bit late until it gets dark enough to see that first star in the sky, maybe you can make a wish on a star. So go outside, look up, or I know you all know the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song. Maybe you guys could go out and look at some twinkling stars and sing that song at night. Maybe if you um, really can't stay up till it's dark enough to see stars, maybe you can see the moon. Sometimes the moon comes up before it's even dark outside. Sometimes the moon is still up in the morning when we get out of bed, right? Or you could look up in the daytime. You could look up and watch the clouds go by, watch the wind move the clouds, maybe even see what kind of shapes you see. Maybe you see a big, white, fluffy teddy bear shape in the clouds. You never know. So look up. Your, your challenge, your job this week is to go outside and look up and see what you can find. I am sure you're gonna see some pretty cool stuff out there. I love watching the sky, especially at night. Now, grown-ups, you can, as always, continue your story time fun by checking out our eBooks and uh, other learning links. You could look in the nonfiction links for books about owls this week, since we had a book about an owl, or maybe you could look for books on stars and space and nighttime. Of course, you can find some of the stories we talked about um, on Tumble Books, which is um, a great resource, whether you're looking for bedtime stories or anything else, and, um, and anything over at Hoopla. And of course, there are always some options over um, at Libby and over Drive. We didn't feature any of those this week, but another great place to find some books for your kiddos. So hopefully you guys can continue your story time, stretch it out a little bit with those resources over there. Now this rhyme is just perfect for ending our pajama story time tonight. It's time to snuggle. It's time to think about bedtime, right? So we're going to take our little boy and put him in bed. How perfect. Let's get him all tucked in and say goodnight. Here's a little boy and here's his bed and here's his pillow where he lays down his head. These are his covers, let's pull them up tight and sing him a lullaby and kiss him. Good night. Good night, little boy. He's all tucked away. Maybe if you read Little Hoot for bedtime, you could do a little owl and get him all tucked in for bedtime. So of course you can always change that rhyme, make it silly, do some fun stuff. All right, everybody sleep tight, stay well. I will see you all right here next week. Bye guys.